It is best to collect cost data only for crops that farmers specialise growing. It is not advisable to ask any grower for cost data for more than two crops. In this example, the crop is tomatoes. Information that needs to be gathered includes the cost of soil cultivation, seeds, sprays, fertilisers and irrigation. Next, the labour costs for planting, weeding, irrigation and harvesting must be calculated and the input costs added on. Yields will vary. The only important yield is how much is sold. In this case, the tomato yield varies from 12,000 kilos down to 8,000 kilos. The cost of production is divided by the number of kilos to give us the cost of production per kilo of tomatoes. In this example, a range of costs is given. These will help to tell growers what price they need to obtain to cover the cost of production. The cost of packaging the tomatoes and transporting them to the market needs to be added to the cost per kilo in order to build up to the break-even cost, the price farmers will need to receive to cover all their costs. As you can see, in this example, packaging and transport are often the highest costs. There are occasions when prices are so low that growers will lose less money by not bothering to market their crop. If, for example, harvesting costs two, packaging three, and transport five, the total cost is ten. If the market price is less than ten, farmers will lose money if they send their crops to market. Well, Max, how did you get on with calculating the cost of production? I found that the unit cost, or break-even cost of production, varies quite a lot from farmer to farmer. I collected cost data from three or four farmers, so I now know what range of prices farmers need to receive to cover their costs. The Agricultural Credit Bank were interested in my work and asked to use my figures to calculate credit requirements. What is your plan now, Max? I want to find out which companies supply packaging and which transport produce. As these are the most expensive costs for the farmer, I want to check prices and find out if there are any cheaper options. Part 2. Information gathering from distribution businesses. I need to know the cost of transporting produce in a pickup or a lorry from here down to the main town and also from the hilly region. Mex finds out that the cost of hiring a pickup is $100 per trip and it can carry 1,000 kilograms, which gives a transport cost of 10 cents per kilo. Lorries cost $200 per trip and can carry 6,000 kilograms at a cost of 3 and one third cents per kilo. Mex also speaks to manufacturers and suppliers about the prices of different types of packaging. Part 2. Information gathering from official statistics. You seem to be hard at work again, Mex. Yes. I have discovered that the government collects weekly wholesale prices for fruit and vegetables. I'm trying to find out typical wholesale prices. The problem is that all the prices seem to be very different, and I need to know a reasonable budget price so we can decide whether the crop is worth growing or not. Wholesale prices do change very quickly. We must find out what is the typical price range. 